Josh Feinsilver, number 14th ranked wrestler in the country. He'll face Dan Mancini, a redshirt sophomore. For Pittsburgh, Mancini in the blue, Feinsilver in the gray, honored with his fellow senior teammates, including his twin brother, Matt. Prior to us getting started, senior night here at Duke. Feinsilver in the duel against Virginia, a loss for Duke. Got his 75th win of his collegiate career. And his sixth win by fall this season. Mancini's got him in a compromised position. He gets out. with a wide open look at a shoot low and it's a takedown for fine silver 2-0 a chance for the crowd to get into it here at Cameron Indoor Stadium really the first time tonight Quite an effort by Feinsilver there. No points awarded. But he's now in control of Mancini. On the outside, Feinsilver, not a lot he can do with this. And out of bounds, they'll be forced to reset in the center of the mat. Two to zero, Josh Feinsilver with the lead, 105 remaining in the first period. Over Dan Mancini of Pittsburgh. Fine Silver tries another big takedown. Gets Mancini to the mat, but no points as we're under a minute in the first period. Silver a two to zero lead. Mancini 12 and 10 on the season. Fine Silver 24 and four. Again, the 14th ranked wrestler at this level. The 149 pound weight class. Silver trying to add on to that 2-0 lead and riding time that's approaching two minutes with the clock at one and a zero in the period. And we'll get set for period number two. Dan Mancini Trying to regain some control and keep this roll that the Panthers have been on moving. They've won all three bouts so far. Mancini doing his best with fine silver. to get him rolled over, but Fine Silver trying to break out of it as well. Fine Silver had a chance at the escape, but instead goes right for the takedown.
Now just over a minute remaining in the period. Fine silver. And some of that riding time taken back by Mancini, but it's back to two minutes and change. Four to zero the lead. Clock at 40 seconds and ticking downward in the second. And not an escape in terms of a point being awarded, but Mancini scurries out of bounds and gets a chance to reset. Thirty-seven seconds on the clock at the time of the restart. Now under twenty seconds remaining in the second period. Fine silver already with a four to zero lead. Three seconds, two, one, zero. And there goes the second period. Maybe not as big of a lead as Josh Feinsilver has encountered so far, or many times rather, throughout this season, but he's been in control pretty much the whole way. And this was the takedown a bit earlier. He had a, an opening where he could have jumped up to his feet and gotten the escape, reset some things, but fine silver, the fine wrestler that he is, had a quick window, capitalized on it, got the takedown. Meanwhile, an escape for Mancini gives him one. And now Mancini bounces back. Excuse me, Fine Silver gets Mancini on the attempt to bounce back. It's another takedown and makes it six to one. Six to two now with the escape. Still within reach for Mancini, but Fine Silver looks like he's on a mission. There it is again. Two more on the takedown. Escape for Mancini after the point tacked on for Fine Silver, nine to three now. Closing in on the end of the third period, but Fine Silver not content with a nine to three victory. Would be a ten to three victory. He's got over three and a half minutes of riding time. And with 18.5, they'll reset things. Fine Silver says that's enough time to go for another takedown, and he gets it. Two more, 11 to 3. And that's a job well done on the closeout. He gets the extra point for time advantage. And it is a 12 to three victory. It did not start as an easy victory for Josh Feinsilver, but big second, a big third. And he piles on with another victory this season. 